Hello everyone, how's it going? You know, 85% of Americans will experience low back pain in their lifetime. Many people will actually try um, some type of a support belt or brace to help alleviate their pain or to prevent injury. Well, what do studies say and experts say? Are they really very helpful or not? If that sounds interesting to you, then keep watching. So you've probably experienced low back pain from time to time. I know I personally have experienced it uh, since I was 13 when I injured my back. And um, it can be so debilitating sometimes. And my dad has often asked me if perhaps maybe some kind of a back brace or belt would help me. And so I finally did some research on it. Now when it comes to preventing injury, according to the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, says there's no scientific evidence to support or refute uh, the effectiveness of back belts in injury reduction. Now back belts or braces have proved to be helpful at times and doctors have um, actually prescribed them for people uh, to correct a deformity um, or to facilitate healing after a back surgery. Sometimes people need to limit their movement um, while they're allowing an injury to heal. And then sometimes um, a back brace is used to stabilize a person's back so that their spine and abdomen are supported and that helps to relieve pain and improve posture. Now some people just like to use some of these belts or braces because they actually have like a, a heating or a massaging feature which actually can help relieve back stress. Now before we move on to some of the cautions I'd like to remind you to please like and subscribe if you're enjoying today's video. So some of the cautions that we want to think about are um, sometimes people don't wear a belt that fits them properly so it causes skin irritation. If they try to use a belt or some, some kind of a support brace um, for long-term use it can actually cause atrophy and muscle weakness. Um, when you're shifting um, the pressure off of the muscles that are irritated that are affected. Sometimes that can put more pressure on other mu muscles and cause them to become injured. Some people have even experienced uh, digestive issues because of the compression on the abdomen or even uh, some people have experienced high blood pressure because of the pressure on the muscles, that compression on their muscles. Now most people uh, will not need to wear a back brace but if they do they really should be, it should be done under the guidance of a healthcare professional. Even if your doctor does prescribe a back brace for you, it's going to be generally prescribed for short-term use. Uh, many of the negative consequences we just spoke about could be avoided as long as we are following the advice, the advice of our physician. And uh, we want to start by getting an accurate diagnosis of our condition and then follow his, um, the physician's instructions carefully. Now, even if you've been prescribed a back brace, um, at some point your doctor um, when he feels it's safe, is going to want to have you get involved with physical therapy to improve your core strength. Now, this type of treatment can be hindered um, if you're wearing a back brace or belt uh, incorrectly, um, if you have the wrong size or you're wearing it too often. Another thing that may be prescribed is the um, hot or cold therapy, which uh, some people do like to buy um, a belt or a wrap that they can put around their back. That way they can still move around while they're receiving that hot or cold therapy. Now most of the pain that I experience is if I have to sit for a very long time uh, or drive, especially long drives. And uh, many people now are working from home, so they've actually had to invest in an ergonomic desk. Um, and also they've invested in lumbar support pillows or cushions, and those have been a tremendous help. If you'd like to check out some of the suggestions below, I have some left down there. Now, even though we've learned that it's inconclusive um, as to whether these uh, back belts or braces um, can actually prevent injury, um, it can be um, beneficial to some people uh, for temporary relief of pain, especially if they only have mild, or mild to moderate pain. Um, but you want to keep in mind that if you are having persistent pain, you definitely want to seek the advice of your physician. Make sure that you don't have any serious underlying condition that could be causing all of that pain. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you in the next video where we'll discuss another way we can improve our health. 